Hi everyone, Bart Jung is back again with some more exciting news about HP Morpheus VM Essentials. So what happened is just a few days ago, HP released version 808. And there are some exciting new things in there that I want to share with you in this video. And specifically, it's one that a lot of people were asking for, which is the Unified Installer. Now, what is the unified installer? Well, until now, if you take a look at my other videos, uh, you will see that there are three videos quite popular about installing Ubuntu on each host of your server where you want to run your new virtualization hypervisor on there based on HVM. Then you need to patch the operating system and then install the VM essential software on top of it and do some tweaking and configuration well those three videos are all now combined in one unified installer so you download now one bootable iso image and when you mount that iso file on the virtual media of your ilo of your bmc of your server well at that moment you will install ubuntu patch the operating system install the hpe uh, vm essentials hypervisor software all in one experience so it makes your life much easier and so it's yeah replacing those three separate videos now in one video which is the one that you are looking at now now before i'm going to show you how it looks like and how easy it is now to install the vm essentials hypervisor well where can you find all this information well there's one url hp.com slash support slash vme dash docs and here you can find then the release notes of the latest version which is 808 at this right moment and so as you can see there's a lot of new things in there new plugins for Eletra for the Aruba switches as well and some uh, more other things but the thing that I'm highlighting in this video is that HVM ISO package available through the software center there's another really cool thing in 808 which is the bulk migration tool but that will be another video uh, where I will dive deeper in that bulk migration tool where you can convert quite easily all your VMware VMs into a VM Essentials VM format. So stay tuned there. Now, where can you find the software? Well, quite easy. You go back to the uh, main support page, you click on drivers and software, and here you find that link HPE Software Center. When you go on there, you have to go to the software section at the left. And now since it's quite new, you can find a, a VME software in here. However, this might change over time. So to be sure, just in the search button, you type in VM Essentials or VME. Um, and then you will find here that 60 day trial evaluation license that everybody can download uh, you get a six socket uh, evaluation uh, license you just go to actions you hit downloads and there you will find now those two ISO images the first ISO image is the general uh, file where you can find all the VM essential software so when you go manually install Ubuntu and then uh, install the VM essentials software on top of it well that's that first ISO file or now new in 808 we have that hvm install iso image and so this is the one that you need to download if you want to have that enhanced installation experience so just hit the download button get those two files and then uh, let's get started with the installation so normally you get started with uh, connecting uh, to your ILO or BMC of your server and then mount that ISO file uh, that you just downloaded from the software center through virtual media. Now, all the physical servers in my demo and lab environment here um, are used or running via me um already so just to show you the process the flow i'm using a vm a virtual machine but the experience of course will be exactly the same so um 
This is my boot manager of my VM. I mounted that ISO file. Um, and this is what you will get if you connect on your ProLiant uh, or third party server um, with uh, the VME ISO image. So we have that HVM installer. It's using Ubuntu 2404. It will be the minimal installation. So I just hit enter and let's get that installation running. Now it's a minimized uh, installation. So that means that you will get just three uh, questions about networking, about storage, and then about the personality of the server, a username, a password, and so on. In this environment, uh, I created a virtual machine with uh, two network interfaces. Um, probably, depending on the hardware that you're using, you will have at least two or more interfaces. And I advise to take a look at the um, documentation website from VM Essentials, where you can find more details uh, about getting started. Then there's installation, and then there is um, the first section of the installation is about networking, for instance, about uh, creating bonds um, with or without LACP. So please go take a look there. There are quite some options. So what I'm going to do now just to show you how easy it is, because normally that was also one of those questions uh, that uh, that I got quite often is about, hey, in Ubuntu, it's not that easy. You need to know net plan or during the installation. By the way, also, I'm going to show you at the end through the HPE VME software console, you can configure the networking, but it's quite easily done here by default. So I have two interfaces. First of all, they are disabled. So I'm going to enable them. And now to make my life easy, I'm just going to put them on DHCP so that I can see that effectively they are connected because yes, they get an IP address of my DHCP server. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a bond with those two interfaces. And then about the bond mode, I advise you to go take a look at the documentation website. I will put a link, by the way, in uh, the comment uh, field of this video as well. It's also highlighted um, in the other videos. And you can find it on my website, hpepedia.com as well. So what are the differences about 802.3AD, aka LACP, or the round robin or the XOR balancing that you might use. So at that moment, I create a bond most of the time for my management, my VM network, and then for my storage network. Don't forget as well, since it's disabled, um, I'm going to enable it and I'm going to put my typical networking on there. One thing that I want to highlight on that subnet, it's not 255, 255, 255, you have to use the um, naming convention like I show you here. So the subnet slash 24 or the one that you prefer. So you enter all the details about your networking and then you hit save and then you hit continue. Second question is about storage. Uh, in my environment, I created a hundred gig uh, drive that I will be using to install my operating system. So just check here. Uh, most of the time, uh, what I do as well is I make it uh, this uh, volume at maximum uh, capacity or at least the one uh, that you can use by using uh, LVM, the logical volume manager. You hit done and continue. And then the final one is about the personality of your server. So I'm going to enter here quickly all the information. So I'm going to call it uh, VME test uh, ISO, uh, for instance. I'm going to put in my username and a password. And then I hit done. And now let's wait for the installation to finish. And so once that the installation is done, you get that reboot now option. So effectively, that's what we're going to do. 
don't forget to unmount the installation uh, media before you can effectively reboot your server. And once that you get to your login prompt, let's validate to see that the HP VM Essential software is also installed. How can you do that? Well, there is that one comment that you need to be aware of, HP EVM. And now I'm going to make a mistake that most of you guys will make. And then you will get the following error because this is then the HP EVM console software, which is normally part three of my installation videos. Well, now it is part of that integrated installer. But what happens, at least I got a lot of messages. Hey, Bart, uh, when I go to virtual machines, I get this error permission denied. Also, when I go to networking, I get a nothing saying error. Well, what's the thing that you need to do? Well, when you're going to run that HP VM command, please don't forget to put sudo in front of it. Type in the password back again. And now you will see that effectively I can see. Yeah, at this right moment, no virtual machines running. But I can see now as well my network interfaces. I can see the bond interface that I created with the IP address, with the uh, routing, with the DNS servers, and so on and so on. So just to show you now how easy it is to get into the HP EVM manager, configure the networking, check virtual machines. And so from this moment on, you can start with the installation of the VME manager after that you executed this installation on all your individual hosts. At least I hope that you see the big advantage of this unified installer compared with the manual installation steps uh, before. Hope you like it. Stay tuned for more videos that are coming.